It's a mighty long road that my The Great Wall is a half a mile narrative artwork that moves chronologically through the history of the United States. Its focus is on the parts of story that have not been placed in our history books. It's the recovery of the stories of people of color and their contributions to the building of our country. The Great Wall site is the site of a monument park. It's a national public monument. So it is not just about a mural, it's about an entire eight acre park that has interpretive stations along the full length of the mural so that as you walk along, it's a giant teaching tool to recover the stories of the people that have been lost. You will see us and then we the Great Wall has been waiting for the time that we could actually extend the narrative and we have been working on it for months and months, and if not historically, years, I mean, because we did other trials of segments of the 1960s and 70s previously with my students, and the opportunity with the Mellon Foundation to extend that wall and to have the support to do the colorations and the drawings gave us an opportunity to go into the process, and the process itself, research and the development of the content, is such an amazing process and is really integral to the conceptual nature of the artwork. The Great Wall has this whole group of thought leaders, and the thought leaders are people who lived through the experience or who are experts in that period of time. Right now, in the imagery of the 1960s, a prominent voice was Reverend Lawson, who taught people, almost every important civil rights leader, the process of nonviolent resistance. And their voices, uh, his voice, for example, and the voice of Maria Elena Dorasso, or Tom Hayden, or Mike Davis, these voices actually create for us the metaphors and are much more easily translated into imagery. So when we're hearing a, a person's story and they're putting it in their words and peppering it with their experience, images become more apparent. And by having the artist team listen to that, that language and listen to the people, it's been remarkable to be able to move from voice to image and to actually see it within the experience that people had living through the era. But you know what you've got. This land is your land and my land and your land. From California to the New York Islands. The underlying metaphor of the Great Wall is a tattoo on the scar where the river once ran. And that came about from the, the notion that if you could disappear a river, how much easier was it to disappear the stories of the people? So that not only was the river an issue to be dealt with, the concreting of, of a river, essentially with the arteries of the land, and that river fed the land and created aquifer and the growth and the plant life and the animal life along the river. And when that was concreted, we lost a great deal in that process. The Great Wall's continuance will include young people 16 through 21 as part of the painting crews. And we'll be training another generation of muralists with the hopes that many of them will take up the brushes and create new monuments that are about the stories of their communities. Our plans include the creation of a 90-foot bridge that goes across the river and connects three schools with the major thoroughfare and the bus lines in Interpretive Greenbridge. It will be a place in which you can view the entire mural. It will also have the railings on it that when you look to the direction of the San Gabriel Mountains, you will see the animal life that was disappeared. And when you look to the direction of the ocean, you'll see the marine life that was disappeared. Mural I know where the people all paint in the sewer. 
P-U. Now, don't get this wrong. This is just a funny song about the Sula. P-U. I say California history is on the wall of the Sula. P-U. Crash and depression, strikes and more in the Sula. P-U. You got the unsigned Indian treaties, dust bowl refugees, Japanese internment, all on the wall. Your culture, my culture, everybody's culture's in the sewer.